There hasn't been much excitement for the San Antonio Spurs fans this season, but there is a rookie doing his part to change that. He's got a somewhat eccentric style, and we haven't seen a player like this since the days of Dennis Rodman. Meet Jeremy Sohan. If you want to figure out more about Rodman 2.0, now is the time to pay close attention. During the years 1993 to 1995, Rodman donned jersey number 10 as a member of the San Antonio Spurs. He was known for his unique hair color and his incredible ball handling skills on the court, including the one-handed free throws. Vernon right, Maxwell and Tim Bro. He was a legend of the 90s, and his influence has reached the youngest of basketball players today. From his extravagant hairstyles to his bold piercings and tattoos, the worm was not afraid to stand out and make a statement on the court. Fast forward to the 2020s, where players have embraced tattoos, hair color, and even gender-bending fashion. Yes, today's players are very fashion-forward. Just ask Russell Westbrook or Kyle Kuzma, who have taken a page from Rodman's Book of Style. And when it comes to basketball, many players have made their mark on the game, but none have made the same impact as Dennis Rodman. Both on the floor and off it, Rodman's influence on the game has been undeniable. But could a new player be rising to take his place? It looks like the answer might just be yes. Jeremy Sohan, the ninth overall pick in the 2022 draft, was born in 2003. That's well after Rodman played in his final NBA game, but that is not stopping him from channeling Rodman, who wore the number 10 on the Spurs, same as him. Not only that, but Sohan has dyed his hair on the court too, the same as Rodman. Coincidence? I don't think so. Sohan played with his dyed hair during college at Baylor and is known for his pesky defense and rebounding. He was asked about the Rodman comparisons at training camp and he replied, There will be times where people don't like me, but I think that's just the way basketball is played. Definitely been watching Dennis Rodman. Now, what's so special about Sohan? You might know Jeremy Sohan for his wild hair or his unique one-handed free throw shooting technique, but there's a lot more to him than that. While his numbers during college may not have been eye-popping, they were still good enough to catch the attention of NBA teams, particularly the San Antonio Spurs. The San Antonio Spurs made a wise decision when they selected Sohan in the 2022 draft. The team had a lack of front court presence, and Sohan was just the player they needed to fill that gap. And so far, he's made an immediate impact on the team. While his shooting splits may not look spectacular, it's important to remember that numbers don't always tell the whole story because most of what the scouts said about him is absolutely true. Sohan was coming in as the San Antonio Spurs' highest draft pick since Tim Duncan, and exceptions were rightfully high, perhaps even too high. Sohan was drafted for his two-way versatility. Standing at 6'8 and weighing in at 230 pounds, he can defend on the perimeter, finish above the rim, dish out some impressive passes, lead a fast break in the open court, and do just about anything else at an adequate, if not well above average level. The San Antonio Spurs have minted a player that perfectly fits their roster, a player who not only brings defensive prowess to the court, but also a unique personality that the league has been waiting for. Think Dennis Rodman on the court, but with a modern twist. Sohan is a defensive stalwart, always ready to make the big play and shut down the opposition. As a rare breed of a defensive player, Sohan not only is a force on defense, but he also brings dynamic playmaking and tenacious rebounding to the offensive end of the floor. His mentality and versatile game have already drawn comparisons to players like Dennis Rodman and Draymond Green. He also got the grit and determination of Rodman and the all-around skills of Green. Sohan's NBA career. Despite not being the most productive player on the floor, he has had a pretty strong start to his career. However, if we take a closer look at his game, we can see he has similar struggles to Rodman himself. Sohan seriously struggles to make his threes and free throws. He has struggled to an extent that he has been doing one-handed free throws, so has to improve. Two of the best free throw shooters ever, so I agree with you. He isn't doing the one-handed free throw just to be more like Rodman, but this is an attempt to fix his form, as he himself explained it. When I'm doing it with one hand, my elbow's in tight. When I put my guide hand, my elbow drifts out. That's what we're emphasizing. During shoot-around, before I even touched the ball, Coach Pop and Coach Brown came up and said, You're shooting with one hand this game. I just did it. It's more about my development than how it looks. I'm just going to listen to them and try my best. 
Comparisons to Rodman If these Rodman comparisons are going to stretch further than just the look, Sohan will need to improve in a few categories. Most importantly, he'll need to become much more of an effective rebounder if he's genuinely going to draw comparisons to the worm. In his two seasons playing for San Antonio, Rodman averaged an impressive 17 rebounds per game. Even while going through drama with the team, he still managed to dominate the boards. But what about Sohan? In 25 minutes on the floor, he's barely averaging 5 rebounds a game. And by considering this, Sohan will only be halfway to grabbing as many boards as Rodman if he was allowed to play the entire game. Sohan, with his height and size, should be able to grab at least 6 to 7 rebounds a game. You'll know the paint isn't as clogged with big bodies as in the 80s and 90s, so a guy like Sohan could make a killing as a top rebounder and defender. Rodman did that, and he's a Hall of Famer because of it. Defensive Impact A lot was expected of rookie Jeremy Sohan, particularly on the defensive end. He is long, athletic, and multi-positional, and he uses it to cover ground and irritate people. When Sohan first came onto the scene, many experts thought he was ready to contribute to defense from day one. And as it turns out, that prediction has largely come true. Sohan has made very few rookie mistakes, and his defensive IQ is surprisingly advanced for someone who is relatively inexperienced against top-tier athletic opposition. The offense, though, is lacking. Sohan has managed 9 points, 4.8 rebounds, and 2.4 assists in 25.7 minutes per game in his first 39 NBA games. The same athleticism that makes him a defensive presence makes him one of the offensive transition game as well. And on the fast-paced Spurs team, ranked 7th in terms of pace in the NBA, Sohan is getting plenty of opportunities to show off his skills in this area. However, he is currently struggling with efficiency when it comes to non-dunk finishes. Spurs tanking the Spurs, as much as anybody, are indulging in the tank for Victor Wambanyama, and this makes them one of the worst offensive teams in the league. They rank 23rd in offensive rating, and also in three-point shooting. When it comes to cutting units, the best teams have a few key things in common. They have offensive cohesion, consistent spacing, and discipline within the group. Unfortunately, the current Spurs team doesn't quite have that. Despite their efforts, they're struggling to find their footing on the court. One positive is that all of these missed shots do mean more offensive rebounding opportunities, but the lack of efficient looks within regular sets is really undercutting their performance. And landing a guy like Wambanyama will be very crucial for them in the future, but that only depends on how they'll perform in the tank race this season. It's always interesting to see how current NBA players pay homage to those who came before them, and it's clear that Sohan has a lot of respect for Rodman and his legacy. So, whether it's his hair or playing style, we can definitely see a bit of Rodman in Sohan's game. And if you're one that prefers to base a young player's worth on their stat sheets, then Sohan may not be your favorite player for a little while. But if you ask me, what he's shown convinces me that the Spurs have placed themselves in an outstanding position a few years from now. The question now remains if the Spurs have truly unearthed Rodman 2.0 or not.